Hello everyone, welcome to a new process video. I am working on a six by 12 pocket page here and these are photos from my trip to Philly in October of 2019. And I have three photos here I wanna use. This is not something I'm using, it's actually the back of this layout on the other side that's already done. So I am not using that. So I need to find something for that pocket. I also need to find something for behind this photo, preferably a four by six pocket that I are, or four by six card that I already have, but I am willing to make one if that's what I need to do. But this is what I'm starting with today and we'll see what happens. I think I have already found two cards that I can use. This is the four by six. I love it cause it's got clouds. It's got kind of a little a globe look over here with those lines so I can use it and I think I'm actually going to cut this down a little bit more so that not so much of the black shows and then it'll show more of the lovely background so I have that then for this pocket I have selected this card that says good morning because it was hopefully you can see on here a very early flight <laughs> we had to get up at the crack of dawn to be at the airport we actually stayed in a hotel the night before so that we could just jump on the shuttle real quick, get to the airport within 15 minutes and not have to worry about it. So it was a very early morning, but it was a good morning because we were off on a trip and that's always good. So I have selected those. Not sure if I'll do anything else with this other than journal. And then I have to figure out, do I want to add anything to these photos? I'm sure I do. It's just a matter of what. I attached my photo on here so that's done but I think I want to add this sticker the one that says up and away that's gray because there's gray here on the tarmac where the plane is waiting and so I think that would fit nicely so I just need to figure out do I want to do it at the top or the bottom I decided to add the gray sticker at the bottom because this the writing that was there didn't really matter it didn't need to be there so I covered up a little bit so that's fine that may be all I do with that one and then I'd like to cover up the QR code thing here if I can because I find them very ugly and unnecessary when I'm scrapping. So I think I'm going to use one of my geotags here. I have several that are the right color. This one's way too big so I can't use that one but this one might work and then some of these are turned with their back sides up so you can't see it but I have lots of colors in there so I'm going to pick one of those to put over that. In my geotag stash, I actually found this, which I like better than the round one. So I'm going to use that one and I'm going to attach it right now. This is a very easy part of the layout to get done. If my mono will cooperate, there we go. And I will put that right there. Sorry, that's my cat in the background. One of them anyway. All right. There we go, so now I have that on there. I love the pops of yellow, and I almost feel like because there are some in each of these, you know what, hold on. Do I like that better? I don't know that I'd like these on top of each other. I thought maybe I would. Nope, I like this arrangement better. Okay, sticking with that, sorry. But I do think I want a pop of yellow down here somehow just so it appears on all four cards then because it's kind of weird to have it on three and then not the other one. So I will look for something. I probably have a phrase label of some kind that I could put down here. It'd have to be in this corner. I don't want this to be in line with something here. So it'll be over here. I just have to find it. I pulled out my yellow phrase labels and I did find this one that I want to use, but the little pennant end is going the wrong way. So I'm going to clip that off and then I will make a new pennant end the other way so that it fits here where I want it to go. Ta-da! I fixed it so that it works for me. I cut off the other end, made the new pennant on this end, and now I'm good to go. So I will adhere that right now. So that's another easy step to get done. So it's gonna go right down here. And then I will put in a mini staple as well, I think. There we go. And voila, that looks good. All right, so what else do I wanna do here? 
I could splatter on this one if I wanted so that it would match this a little bit better, but I don't know that it needs it. I feel like something is missing, but I don't, I don't know exactly what. I'm wondering if I need something else here as part of this, because there's this dead space here. Maybe that's what's bothering me. I'll look through my stuff and see if there's any little doodad that I could add that might make that feel less empty. When I was looking through my stuff, I pulled out these stickers and I remember that I had this one in there. These are actually chipboard stickers from Mambi, me and my big ideas. And I'm wondering if this yellow one in here that says, let's go, will work or if it's too big. But it's not exactly the same colors here, but it's more this yellow, which is fine. I think I could make do with it, but I'm wondering if I can like tuck it on there somehow. Let's see, I'm just gonna peel it off. So if I were, and it kind of mimics the sun here. Oh, so you know what? I don't want those right there. Shoot. But I like what it says. Could I put it over here or would that be weird? No, cause then it's under there. Hmm. If I were gonna do it, I'd almost have to do it over here and I don't like that. Now I could do it over here almost to the edge, but then it doesn't solve the problem of having an empty space there. You know what, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not totally happy with it, so I'm gonna put it back and I'll just see if I can find something else. So just when I was starting to get really frustrated with not being able to find anything, I pulled out this old sticker sheet that I have and on there is a yellow arrow. And I think I can put it right here and it'll fit or maybe even off center a little bit, but it's the right color, it's the right size, it'll fit right there. I actually decided to do the arrow at an angle. I didn't like the way it was looking straight up and down. So I just thought I would angle it and see what I thought and I like it. So I think that this one is actually done. I'll do my journaling off camera, but otherwise I think everything I need is in there. So here's my opening page for Philly that's done. Thanks for watching.